Ciao everyone and welcome to Italy with Alpha and Dandy. Today we have so much fun to share with you from our stay in Castelbuono which is situated just south of Cefalu up in the mountains and uh, all in all we totally fell in love with the place. First of all driving from Cefalu to Castelbuono was a magnificent experience and just behind every road curve there was this magnificent uh, view that would open and uh, we will we will get one wow <laughs> wow kind of feeling after another and you know the whole day there was quite an experience we didn't have any expectations whatsoever uh, because we got the place recommended by a person that we got to know and uh, we kind of just <laughs> drove there <laughs> and see if it could live up to, to what we heard that it's beautiful but i'm telling you it was so much more than beautiful we met uh, uh, just accidentally a team of cyclists uh, which were a lot of fun to encounter and then uh, all of a sudden we got to know that there is um, like a local uh, production, local factory of panettone, you know, the famous Italian sweet. And uh, just not to spoil everything, but to mention that later the day, while looking for a place to eat a lunch at, we rumbled into a Michelin restaurant and we really enjoyed it. Um, so soon comes the cyclist scene, don't miss it, it's a funny one. <laughs> Enjoy! We've just arrived at Castel Buono. The castle itself is behind me. And then we have the old town in front of us. I think it's behind this gate. So. So we've heard that there is a factory of panettone exporting to the whole world which is situated in in this little village uh, I can imagine and so it's craftsmanship it's made by hand so we're headed to to, to taste those really looking forward it's beautiful what a place so now we have found where uh, you can degustate, where you can taste the panettones made by hand. So they're called Fiasconara. Fantastic. Traditional with the candy orange. Ah, grazie. Mm. Wow. Mm. Uh, it's um, strawberry and uh, cherries. Sorry, darling, I, I ate all the pink parts. E la storia di questa azienda è interessante. Sono una famiglia. Il padre fondatore è Don Mario. Don Mario. Don Mario. E poi porta avanti i tre fratelli, Nicola, Martino e Fausto. Nicola è il pasticcere, 
colui che ha avuto questa intuizione qui del, del lievitato perché il panettone nasce come prodotto tipico o dolce tipico eh, lombardo di Milano ed, è difficile, ed era difficile pensare andare di, di portare in Sicilia questo tipo di prodotto. Nicola ci ha creduto e i due fratelli Martino e Fausto l'hanno accompagnato e ci hanno creduto. Ora eh, l'azienda distribuisce in quasi tutta Europa. Wow! E avete anche queste collaborazioni, come si chiamano, con, con Dolce Gabbana? Sì, e... È stata da qualche annetto la collaborazione con, con Dolce Gabbana, con la, con la collezione per quanto riguarda la, eh, la Sicilia, che porta avanti la Sicilia. E abbiamo a Natale ormai da 4-5 anni che portiamo avanti questa collaborazione con delle latte colorate vanno a riprendere il tema siciliano sì. e da qualche annetto invece c'è quella di Pasqua sì, sono bellissimi i nostri prodotti e vanno a essere inseriti in queste latte da design che pure hanno fatto This all is panettone and colombas, can you imagine? So this is the pigeon-shaped colomba. And then there are different tastes covered with different frostings. What a place! Alba just what, bought one kilo of cake for Easter, <laughs> which she thinks she should uh, get on the flight back to Sweden. Yeah, we, we'll see how we'll, we'll, we'll uh, find place for this one, but it's really, really nice. This one was with, um, with the apricots and ananas and some pistachio on top. And so you see here the form of a uh, pigeon, colomba. And it's in, this particular form is used for uh, Easter. However, uh, the, the sweet itself is done also, is made also for uh, Christmas, but uh, it has, uh, I think it's more round shape, so th this, um, this pigeon shape is only for Easter, so we're lucky to be here, close to Easter. Scusi, questo è melanzane? Non l'ho mai visto in questa forma? Così è così. Rotondi! Ma, ma il gusto è diverso? Leggermente, sì. Wow, grazie. Prego. Lonzino di maialino, prosciutto cotto cotto alla brace, capocollo, salame di suino nero, pecorino stagionato, questo è invece un formaggio fresco vaccino, tuma sotto e questo è invece un cacciocavallo. Un? Cacciocavallo. Cacciocavallo. Cacio è un formaggio. Sì, e sotto c'è l'insalatina di cavolubiono, carotina e zucchine e marinata. Andy, what's your impression of Castelbuono? Well, it's a quiet, quiet little mountain uh, village or town from the medieval times and uh, seems very genuine. Not a lot of tourists at this uh, season. Uh, most, we're probably one of the few tourists here now. Well, very nice among the beautifully located among the hilltops, the mountains. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video we would love you to like it and to subscribe to our Italy travel vlog. Lots of love, Alba and Dandy.